broccoli cheese stromboli. I started by cooking some sliced onions and garlic in some butter. And now I'll add the broccoli to the pan. I just took a head of broccoli, cut off the tough stems, and then broke it into tiny florets. It'll finish cooking in the oven so it doesn't have to get totally soft in the pan. And it needs some salt and pepper, of course. The boys have eaten my broccoli cheese soup since they were babies, pretty much. And so putting a broccoli cheese spin on pizza is a really good idea. And you can use homemade pizza dough, you can use store-bought pizza dough. I'm gonna use frozen bread dough that I thawed, so it's really, really easy. Okay, the broccoli is already starting to green up and get a little bit softer. So I'm actually gonna turn off the heat and stop the cooking process. And I wanna give this a chance to cool before I add it to the dough. Speaking of the dough, I'm gonna get it rolled out and ready. Frozen bread dough is such a revelation. They're frozen before they rise. So you just have to let them thaw out and then give them a chance to rise a little bit. And I'm telling you what, I use this stuff for so many things as a shortcut. I'm just pressing it into a little bit of a rectangle shape. And then I'll use the rolling pin just to roll it super thin. I'm gonna roll it out to about 11 by 13 inches. Frozen bread dough, you can use it to make regular pizza. It is so good. I'm always amazed at how versatile it is. It really is an amazing product and it tastes delicious. Okay, that looks great. Now I'm gonna do a layer of sun-dried tomato pesto. It just adds a little bit of flavor to the inside of the stromboli. It's not overwhelming. You can do regular marinara sauce or pizza sauce, of course. This is another shortcut ingredient, jarred pesto. If you had to stop and make the pesto, it would take way, way too long, especially if you have hungry dudes hovering around you. Okay, that's great. So let me check the temperature of the broccoli and onions. It has cooled down quite a bit already. So I'll sprinkle it onto the pesto. You can only imagine the variations of this stromboli that you can make. Really, you can use up leftovers in a stromboli, which is a kind of a nice frugal way to go about it. So I've got the broccoli all spread out. And now for the cheese. And then I kind of want to hold all this on here, so I'm going to shingle on some slices of cheese. I'm just using regular supermarket mozzarella is what I call it. But you could do slices of provolone. You could even do Swiss, depending on what your other fillings are. And then to elevate things a little bit, I'm gonna sprinkle on some basil leaves. You don't have to be too neat and orderly about it. Now I just need to roll this into a log. So the first thing I'll do is take the short ends and just kind of tuck them up. This is sort of like one gigantic burrito. <laughs> now I'll start on this end closest to me. And it's just about rolling this into a great big pizza log. So just roll it and press it as you go. You want to wind up with a really nice tight roll. And I'm going to grab the pan and get it on there first before I finish the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a sharp paring knife and just cut little slits along the top. It helps to keep the stromboli from breaking open when it bakes. And then I want to brush olive oil very generously over the top. When you use frozen bread dough for any sort of pizza recipe, you always want to brush it pretty liberally with olive oil. Then you can sprinkle on Parmesan and it'll stick. I've always got a plan. Okay, now I'm gonna bake the stromboli at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, so I'll see you when it's done. I think you're gonna like the look of this. I know I'm gonna like the look of it. That Parmesan bakes on top, it kinda of makes a little crust on top of the crust. Okay, I'm gonna get it onto a serving board. And then I love to serve stromboli with a really good quality jarred sauce. And I warmed it in a saucepan and I'll serve up a big bowl of it. The boys will probably pull out ranch when they eat this. And then I like to decorate the platter with some extra basil leaves. Sprinkle 
sprinkle them on top. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of dying to cut into this. <laughs> I want to see what happened in the oven. That is the fun part, after all. You can slice this totally and serve it already sliced. Look at that. Look at all that cheesy goodness. That redeeming layer of vegetables, that's always nice. Broccoli cheese stromboli.